Oh, shit. Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? What's up? The freaking camera. Yeah, I'm back, baby. I'm back and I'm better. Had to get the old mind right, y'all. Uh, how they Atlanta, Black Karma, Miss B, Adele, what's up? What's up, my yato, Sim, Sim, Sim? Everybody, how they say? Oh, I miss David, long time. How they say, you know, my biggest mistake was showing up to the party with my real face on? That's where I'm at with it. So, you know, I had to do a little soul searching, a little thinking and all that shit, dog. Emmy, what's up? Awaken the heart. Hey, people, I ain't even going to front, right? Since I've been back, because I, I I went out of town a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I went out of town. I had to take a week off. I had to go get renewed. I had to go somewhere. I had to go elevate myself. And I'll be uh, sharing a video about that coming up soon. I just had to get close to heaven as I possibly could and for, for me, you know, because I was going through a lot, you know, I was holding myself back, trying to make other people feel good, and the shit just hit me like, man, you you, you authentic and you yourself, and, you know, authenticity don't sell no more. You can be, I, I prided myself on being transparent and authentic, but they saying authenticity don't sell no more, you know, and they like, people don't care about that, they, they like the transparency. But they like the superficial shit, and it, and, it, and I and I had to, to go away for a little bit to to had to go away a little bit to to wrestle with with that, you know, because that's what I'm about. I mean, I'm gonna keep being real. I'm gonna keep being authentic to the best of my ability. But like they say, you got to get the people what they want. So, uh, you no, know, you know. But I, I some shit I don't want to talk about. But the spirit downloaded to me like, bro, they, and uh, I'm gonna do what I do best because on all these topics and shit in the media, I don't give a fuck about what the Diddy did. I don't give a fuck about what Jay Z got going on. I don't care if spirit don't download that shit to me. Y'all ain't gonna hear it or see it because half of the goddamn YouTubers out there that come behind me at that post some. They posting and they taking what I'm saying and verbatim a bitch and that because they may have more subscribers. It seemed like it came from them first and shit, man. I don't know how I do it. But, you know, I got some dedicated people that'll send me time. Man, you talked about this last week and then that person, you talked about this, that, that person talking about it and then it's like, boom, that's my shit. But they got a bigger platform. So, but that's where I've been. But, yeah, if I tell you guys right now. If I tell you guys right now, since I've been back, I got such a hot feeling in my chest. It's 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 a real, I'm breathing hard. It's a real fight for me, people. I mean, it's a real fight for me to, to get on here and talk about superficial shit that not even in my wheelhouse. I don't follow celebrities. I don't do that type of shit. But these celebrities need somebody to come after their ass. They're going to give you some authentic, true shit. So you guys can look into it. Not some shit that could possibly happen. I'm going to bring it to you real. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to talk. I want to do. I want to. I'm going to come in here to tell you guys. I want to do a reading on this. This this little Maxwell Anderson uh, fellow who who killed that baby girl. Uh, Miss Shade Robinson. Uh, my heart is heavy over that. Y'all know I got that baby girl and I ain't going to cry because I didn't cry all day. People, when I say I done walked to the mailbox, I done walked up the road and walked back. I done took a second shower because I got sweaty. I'm telling you, man, that that shit touched me because I got that baby girl in that room. And I would lose my fucking skull pan if a bitch done that to her. Now, all the kids, I do it, but I got them five boys and that one baby girl. But that nigga in there, that's the only thing keeping me anchored to this bitch. That's the only thing keeping me sane, y'all. I'm just going to be 100% G. And uh, I'm going to hold back these tears. But when I was reading about it, and I saw the news sitting up there talking about mental illness, I wanted to go and fuck up the news, people, man. 
I want to just drive to the news station and slap them all in their face. The fuck you talking about mental illness? Man, don't you see what just occurred, baby? I'm finna get into the meat and potatoes of this bitch now, so y'all better be ready. And let me tell you something, full disclosure, but I don't give a fuck, okay? Unapologetic with this shit. Full disclosure, this is gonna be a black and white versus issue. So if you're sensitive to colorism, uh, black and white, I ain't, I'm from the South, I'm gonna use them words. I'm gonna use cracker, I'm gonna use nigga. That, that don't mean I don't like you, you know, just, that's the way I'm fucking talking. I ain't finna... Spend no radio. So if y'all don't know, I'm old Southern motherfucker. Yeah, what it is. But people, let me tell you something. The new setup there ain't going to go through. They done, I done seen three motherfucking psychiatric evaluations on this son of a bitch. Mr. Anderson. Who set up there and mutilated that baby. Chopped her up and they still can't find the body part. Do you know that's ritualistic, people? See, I'm a real, I'm a real motherfucking spiritualist. And me and grandma understood this well. See, see, before I get into it, and before I pull these two cards right here, before I start putting this reading on this bitch, because y'all going to know. And when it come out in the news, you're going to be like, the Baron don't fuck off. Because the Baron said, this is what he going to say wrong with him now. Pay attention. So there's certain things when you, when you dispatch certain animals, right? When you dispatch certain animals for certain rituals, certain solar events. And if you go back and check my pages, when I was telling you what we need to do for the, the, the solar eclipse, remember, did y'all, how many of y'all remember when I say there need to be a burnt offering? Do y'all remember that? Hey, my moderators, could y'all get rid of these motherfucking, uh, please get rid of Valerie, Queen of Valhalla. Odin says, hi, get the fuck off my page, you goddamn troll. Get out of here with this fuck shit, man. This real talk. How many of y'all said remember when I was talking about burnt offering? Now I told you there was two burnt offerings this year, right? Well, three. When you include cre when you include Texas. When you include Texas, y'all deny. So they burnt the island because that's a that's a titan that they're trying to stop Earth Earth self-defense for us over there in Maui. Then they burn up the 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 the, the Kahiwati, uh Indians over there in Texas and that that thing. Then they go over there and shake that bitch up in uh, uh, China, uh, Taiwan, and they trying to get rid of them. So now all of this shit is ritualistic. Now people, let me tell you something about what's going on with this baby girl and them body part. What this clown did to her. The clown scattered her body around. Now if I tell you how burnt offerings work, once you dispatch. A animal for a certain reason certain pieces of that animal don't make it into that fire certain pieces of that animal has to be given back to the earth it has to be appeased to a water spirit i'm finna tell you how to do magic ain't nobody finna fuck with me because this southern folk magic i got them five motherfucking rings people i know i got the five fucking rings of southern folk magic okay you have to appease the water spirit you have to appease the earth spirit. You have to appease the air spirit. Okay? You got to hit all of them spirits. Right? So now that baby body part been gone. And why didn't the fuck they find the torso of baby girl? Mrs. Sade Robinson. Come on, man. If people don't want to understand this and they want to sit up there and say this bitch is sick and sadistic. But I'm going to tell you what's going on here, man. This baby girl was ritual. Now, this came six days before the eclipse. Look at the number, baby. I'm just going to bring it to you raw. This baby was cut up, hacked, and hurt by this old weird-ass cracker boy six days before the eclipse. Now, I ain't the smartest man in the world, but if you go back and check out your history of how the Mayans would appease the eclipse because they felt the sun god was upset, so they would go and they would kill the slaves, a.k.a. the darker versions of themselves, the no goods, the uh, and it always had to be a young lady. It ain't never been a man. Don't let Hollywood fuck you over and say, oh, they were killing men too. They was feeding men to the beast. They was drowning the men. But they was taking the heart of the fucking ladies. Y'all follow me here. This is what you learned in the history book. This is what you learned in school. 
They showed that graphic shit, right? That Mayan would take you up to the tall ass uh, uh, pyramid. They would lay you down. They would rip the, rip the torso up, bust it open. They would take out the heart, hold it up to the sun, beat it, squeeze it, pop it. The body, cut it, cut it. Some piece, Somebody had to take that body to the water. Some people had to take that body inside the forest to feed the forest spirit because it was all about let anything the sun shine on needed the offering. You see what I'm saying? Son, I'm telling you, son, come back. Come see me. Empower me with this right here. I'm doing this. Pay attention. Now, when you guys read the papers of how a baby girl was found, Miss Sade Robinson. When y'all read the papers, a foot was burned up in the car. A foot in the car. That's the only human remains from what I'm reading so far. A foot burned up in the car. You, that's, that's the part of the body that was offered to the fire god, to the fire element. Another one was found in the woods. And notice there's parts, and they just found one today, the 18th. One was found next to the water. People, if I'm telling you anything wrong, you say, Baron, this bullshit. That ain't how it work. But why is it following the code of the Mayans? Why is it following the same ritualistic sacrifice that the Mayans did? Because this is who this asshole clown Anderson motherfucker going to say, oh, I was trying to appeal. I, I heard the gods talking to me. I heard the gods of the eclipse saying I needed to do this in order to 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 survive, to win, to to, to appease. I heard voices in my head and she was the sacrifice. Watch what I tell you. He going to come out with some bullshit saying that. It, he heard voices and a deity told him to do it. Now, for all y'all people out there that don't understand what the fuck I'm trying to say when I say this planet belongs to the white folk people. This ain't never been our home. We in the ether. We just get high in this bitch. That's solar, that, that's, that, uh, solar consight. That song, that sun is a drug. It makes you feel good, baby. Give you this nice brown hue on your ass. But we purple and blue, baby, deep down in truth. But when the sun go away, everybody get in terror and fear, right? And you have to appease that. So let me tell you one more thing about this. I ain't even got to the cards. I ain't even got to the cards. We're going to read this bitch. We're going to read old Maxwell. Did you know that man daddy a millionaire? Y'all finna see. Y'all finna see how it go. I done studied this shit, man. Because I've been bawling tears all day. Did y'all notice that man that a millionaire on one of the largest insurance firms in the United States? Insurance, people. I pay $500 premium on mine. This man is a billionaire. Damn near close to it. And you telling me if the world is going to end and I want to make a sacrifice to a deity for prosperity, riches, abundance, and long living. Oh, yeah, I'll take somebody out too, right? That's, the, that's, that's how I go. And they hunted for this baby. They hunted for the girl. She had the right measurement. She wasn't no tall chick. The Mayans would always sacrifice. They had a height limit, baby. They didn't go over, sir. Look up the baby height. She couldn't have been no more than 5'5". Five, five. I'm telling you how to... They don't ever sacrifice tall humans. You got to be under 5'5". Five, five. Why under 5'5"? Five, five? five is the number of man. Head, arms, legs. Genitals don't matter. We ain't going to say six.
How old was this young man when he did this bullshit, right? Look at the number. I'm not a I'm not a number man now. This man is 33. Who is 33? Christ like God. Who is they worshiping Christ like God? The man 33. You see how that up? That man was put to do this shit by the daddy. To say the company. Now I'm finna get in. I'm finna put you in some. I'm finna put you in McKen folk business, right? I'm finna put you in McKen folk business. So about six, five to six years ago, one of our soul tribe member, my kinfolk, real blood kinfolk, she called me and she was telling me, and I'll let her tell you the story. I'm just going to paraphrase it. She was telling me, she said, hey, you know, Baron, I need a reading. I said, I got you, kinfolk. I was at work. I was working in a warehouse. No, this longer than that working in a warehouse i was warehouse manager and i was by the by the uh cardboard baler where the, you put the cardboard in there you wrap it down and then the metal scraps come around and pack it good i was standing near that and i didn't have no tarot cards in my hand or nothing i was warehouse manager so i said how the hell i'm gonna read because she was finna take a trip right she was finna take a trip and she asked me to read them so i said okay so I picked up some screws off the ground. And only thing I need to do is just to have a focal point. I could read without the cards. I could read without anything. But I like the fact check spirit. So I shook the screws up about eight, nine, 10, 12 tops. And I threw them on the ground. When they hit the ground, they jumped up and they jumped in a pile. They formed the grave like they formed the actual casket. And I looked at it. And I got it in my Bluetooth on it at this point in time. I say, sweetheart. Don't do this. I say, don't do this. She like, what? She didn't tell me about the trip. She just wanted to read about her job and her daughter. I said, you can't. And I told her, I said, you cannot go on this trip. I say, do not listen to this man. I say, I see five guys at a cabin. Listen to what I'm telling you, people. I say, sweet, I see five guys in a cabin. I say, the short man with the low bald and haircut he trying to pick you up from an airport don't go i say the other three guys are gonna take advantage of you with the hard r in front i say they're gonna take advantage of you real good i say then they're gonna leave you with the skinny man to which for three days later he's gonna take advantage of you and do what he want to do with you i say and then they suppose he's supposed to take you to the forest under the full moon I say, and he's supposed to, you know, bury your ass. You're, that's your death. That's your death spot. She let out the biggest yell. It would take for her to tell you. She let out the biggest fucking yell. Oh, my God. I'm like, you okay? Yes. So-and-so told me to meet him at the airport, leave my phone in the airport locker. I got a daughter. Leave my phone in the airport locker. He'll pay for the locker. And I'm supposed to meet him. And we're going to the cabin for the weekend to where nobody could get in contact with us. He just want a weekend with me. I didn't know nothing about that. She would call her ask about her job and her daughter. When I threw them nails, it formed that casket on the ground, people. I shouldn't have known nothing about this. And I said, they're going to offer you up to a fairy god. I say, this is going to be a green fairy. I say, because this person right here has money. This person is rich. I say, you will be their sacrifice to keep their flow and abundance going. I say, they're going to need a naive black girl just like yourself. Because she she really do like them white boys, y'all. She chase them. She likes them. Old white niggas, too. I ain't even got no young. Not even one that look weird with the big clothes in the computer with the big ass keychain. Like when I was growing up, not even them type. She go for the old niggas, man. Nuts hanging down to his damn kneecap. She that she gonna get mad. I'm telling her business, but fuck it. And she said he used to talk about fairies and dragons all the time. I never met this man. Do you know when she chose not to go with that man? He emailed her in all capital letters from her words. I ain't reading none of that. 
cursing her out, saying she ain't that pretty no way. She ain't shit. He didn't want her. Yada yada whoop the whoop the boo the boo the boo the boo the boo the da 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 da. To this day, she'll always bring that up and say, I saved her life. But she was chasing. And them guys, and I say, I told her story to say this right here. There's a lot of social media bullshit going around steering sisters away from the black man. Oh, one black woman is unalive every 30 seconds by a black man. Nobody talks about how many sisters are unalive. By the Caucasian brother. It's just black men want to hurt black women, right? Black men shit is domestic violence. Some shit like that. So instead of you just putting it on the unalive and black women, let's say they have a domestic violence altercation. But the white man, no, 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 no. He don't unalive black women. He treat them like gold, right? He treat them like the princes and shit that, that they are. His granddaddy couldn't even treat him right. What the fuck you think he gonna do with him once he get tired? But you hear the shit, right? Why do you think you hear this shit? That was a in that's infiltrating the mind that put them in a position to be so damn comfortable that when they come out and pick one, your ass history. Now I ain't saying all white brothers don't like black sisters. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying, just like y'all scrutinize the brothers when it come down to dating them, scrutinize the white man. Go in his history. See, dude, he got a history of mental illness. Y'all do a background check to see if a brother done been arrested, went to prison. How about since that's the thing that gets white boys off from murdering any fucking body, churches, synagogues, goddamn schools, goddamn grocery store mass shooting, since everybody want to sit up there and, and say mental illness is their motherfucking trigger when the only thing is a black man trigger is skin color? How about y'all women that like them white boys go up there and start looking in a history of mental fucking illness? A lot of this shit could be prevented. But it's mis, it's mixed, it's misdirection, people. Am I saying something wrong? Why, 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 what's the habit? If the bitch gonna sit up there and kill your daughter, a bitch gonna sit up there and kill your mama, kill your sister, kill your auntie, why don't y'all sit up there and say, well, I'm my daughter dating a white boy. And I want to make sure that this boy or his family don't have an issue of mental illness. Date a black man? Let's look into his background. Let's see if he ever been arrested. Let's see if he got a mess of fire. How many baby mamas he got? Let's talk to them and see do he beat on them. Let's see. He must be the problem. He must have been a cheater, a whole month, a whole, a whole manga. But the white man, he comes fresh and so clean. This dude was a bartender. Pay attention to the fucking sign. This Maxwell Anderson fella is a bartender. His daddy's a millionaire. Hold on. His friend that called the police and reported the bit. His daddy a millionaire, and he so happened to work at the bar. So you telling me these millionaire heirs are working at a local bar to which a lot of ethnic people visit, and that's 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 what we are gonna go with. That's the narrative. A thirty three year old man, not even a college motherfucker, right? Can you say this shit is giving scouting? Can you say this shit is giving? Oh, I'm 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 just looking for the right one to get. No, y'all ain't going to say that shit. The man didn't even own the bar. He was just working there. My daddy a millionaire. Put me on on your company, dad. I'm not going to go out here and work in a bar. A bartender with charisma. I know it was another motherfucking serial killer running around this bitch, Ted Bundy. Very charismatic. Like nothing but the brothers. And the Spaniards, he ethnic, he loved it, ate them, ritualized them, drilled shit in the head to keep them with him. Ritualistic, but everybody want to say, oh, this is just serial killing for mental illness. 
Man, these shits are ritual. Since the beginning of time, they have been ritualizing African Americans, indigenous, whatever you want to call yourself. Melanated. It happens. So, ladies, do yourself a fucking service here. And if you like the white flesh, and ain't nothing wrong with liking it now. Ain't nothing wrong. Whatever your flavor. I got two biracial kids. I, I didn't explore it in my day. It was all right. It was okay. Do your damn research. What's your name? What's your daddy's name? What's your mama name? Do y'all got a history of mental illness in your family? Because that's what they do. They underlie everybody on the planet when they get upset. And then they say, oh, well, it, it ain't drugs. It's mental illness. Oh, it ain't a, having a bad day. It's mental illness. This man just killed his wife and five children in the household. It wasn't the fact that he was a psychopathic murderer. This was mental illness. But a black man, a Spanish man, Mexican man, any ethnic, do any of that shit. Oh, it's in his blood. He just, just, just sick in the head. It ain't mental illness. He deserved to go down because he knew better. He knew what he was doing. Am I lying? Back to the point at hand. I don't say it, my little ranting bitch a moment. Let me tell you something. This shit was racial. This shit was ritualistic as well. They hunted that baby girl out. Miss Shade Robinson. They hunted that baby girl a lot and they targeted her and they took her and they did this shit as a ritual. And they was following the old Maya way of doing things. This shit happened right around the eve. This shit happened around that eclipse and after the eclipse and everything else, man. Is that energy? Is that goddamn energy, right? But I bet ain't nobody smart enough to say it on YouTube land. They'll say it after me. I'll take the hit. That was a ritualistic what they did to that baby girl. And the reason why they can't find the torso because they don't want them to know that they took that baby girl hard out. Let something happen to that one in there. Let something happen. You think I'm going to be unhinged? You think I'm going to be... Marching? You think I'm going to sit in the courthouse with my colleague Cross? You might well dig another hole for me, bitch. Because I'm on you. I'm on everything you done shook hands with from the past 15 fucking years. Am I wrong? I say you guys are wrong. For not busting the fucking ass of the people who did it. I don't give a fuck. They found the blood in the man's car. They found the baby leg in his goddamn her foot in his car. They found blood at his house. But we don't know where the where it happened. We don't know where they murdered the, where he 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 dismembered the baby girl at. We don't have enough evidence to see where it's at, but we know he did it because circumstances and evidence said it. But you find a drop of blood on a black man collar, probably from a splash zone, bumping into a wall, a streak of blood. He did it. He guilty. Sentenced the book at him. And it was more than one person who did it. People, y'all listen to me. That boy didn't do this shit by himself. This was ritualistic. It hurt me so bad. Let me get to these cards. Let me go and get to these damn cards, y'all. What's up, little kid? Hey, baby girl. What's up? What are snacks here? Oh, snacks. I'm pretty sure I can have What's on your face? Oh, it's a face mask. My 17 year old daughter wearing face masks. Yeah, that's candy. Y'all, please forgive me. I was just going to get into the car. Y'all got to forgive me. Hey, so good to see you. I just got in from my trip, y'all. So so I'm going to start with Matthew. Get out of here. 
Matthew Jacob Dinger Heimer Smith. Yeah. How do you know I got you anything? Though? Well, knowing, knowing you, I know you would have something for me. Yeah, yeah I'm talking shit online. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Listen, I got you. Uh, when I left, I got you something, bro. Oh, okay. Uh, that bag is for you. Okay. You can, you can gawk it up and open it. That's so you can telescope your boyfriend across the street. <laughs> <laughs> the little dance. Ooh. Oh my god. Hold on, is, is this tea? That, that's oh. old boom. You can put him on your altar. Oh, oh y'all, y'all want to see what he's doing, y'all? That night wolf, y'all. Night motherfucking night wolf. Say what it is, night wolf. Hey guys. All right. So oh, wow. I was up there in Seattle and shit too, catching the plane. Show the people what you got. Yeah. Show them, show them. You get the hell on out of here. Yeah, this is. Yeah, that, that's I some got. kind of wild fucked up salmon they sell in a box. It's food in a box. And I, I, I got him his old goon for his night wolf altar, and I got him a camera that you hook to your phone, and you can look across the street, y'all, and see people. I know Master you like. So look, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the, that you can only get them flavors in Canada, baby. Really? Yeah. Magic masala. I don't even know what the fuck that Magic. is. Magic. Magic. Oh, that is that sounds mesquite like or some shit. Probably, probably you gotta say it in the French. Mesquite. Now that's the sauce. So I know you like your dipping sauce with your stuff. Yes. There you go. So mm -hmm. go ahead, pull out the rest because I want to get your ass out of here. Now I'm pissed off at the world because of baby that? girl. Oh, what's that, what's that in? That ate. So I bought y'all a shitload of candy from Canada because they have different preservatives good, in it. Good chocolate. Thank you. I know it's good chocolate. I'm a fancy motherfucker. I do fancy. <laughs> it's, it's giving Willy Wonka. That is good. Listen, I saw that movie. That little thin boy. Which one, the he, Tim Burton with the Bob or the... No, the, the new one, the musical. Oh, it's oh, so trash. trash. Oh, the Kit Kat. That is trash. Oh, That's God, a different Kit, Kit Kat. Kat. That's a Canadian Kit Kat, baby. Oh, what's, what's the difference, though? The preservatives, they not like this American shit that's killing y'all. They definitely don't. Oh. don't like the American. Why the wafer's so like right. I don't even know what that <laughs> is, Mr. Big, but you know you Mr. Big. You're a big <laughs> man. Big man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matthew, what you put that shit out in it slower, boy. I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna get. Oh, yeah. Sprite. Sprite. Right? That, they, that's what they sell over there. That's bright flavored. Um, you know, you know, y'all kids like y'all McDonald's Sprite. Yes. Well, uh, pull out three things. Any more in that bag, man? These. Oh, them honey sticks. Oh, I heard they was really good. I went to the uh, Seattle fish market where they throw fish at people mm -hmm. and they catch it in the paper bag and they got the whole little shit going on like that. I got that too late for them to throw the motherfucking fish, oh. but I hmm. saw it. Don't throw the fish to make it. And you, so you fish. chew on them shits. They say you pop it open and you just squeeze it. I guess it's like for a sports rush or you wake oh, up in the middle of the night and need a sugar fix. <laughs> That's what you get, man. I don't know how to use it. Oh, it's different flavors too. Oh wow! Get away from them. That go to the altar. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is weird. But yeah, that's that's it. That's pretty much it. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, put it back in there and get your ass off camera, man. I'm talking. Now I got to do a reading, y'all. Y'all make me feel better by interrupting my energy right then, because I was sweating and getting upset. Yeah. Listen, Matthew, don't forget your sauce, Pimp. Oh, yeah. Matthew, I can't do none of this without you, boy. I wouldn't be me without you. You got me? Yeah. Keep being you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Always. Love you, son. Love you, too. <laughs> All right. Hey, little girl. How you doing? Uh, how you doing? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's my bad. Do you want to get in the camera? Oh, I wasn't in. Hey. Here. Here go one of your bags. For some reason, I got to do right by the girl. I'm stressing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give a telescope. Yeah, so you can see your boyfriend around the corner. Oh my god. Have me on a stealth mission. Oh, you right there? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What kind of sauce? That's the salsa. I know you like like dipping shit and making shit. Maybe you can put it on your chicken or something. I don't know. It's a it's sauce from Canada. Nigga, when the fuck we gonna eat some shit from Canada again? I do not know. What this is? Oh, that I got that when I was in Seattle. Yeah, it's it's like a sweet tea. I got it from this this sister right here called Positive Vibes. I went to that shop. 
and she hand makes these and hand bottles them. This is the number. I'm going to put it up here so you guys can check it out. Go check her out. She is sweet. She is so positive, and she gave me uh, that for free, believe it or not. I bought one. She gave it to me for free, but this is her information, y'all. Well, all right. The drink, I'm going to drink this. Trust. Chill it first, man. Chill it. Put it in the freezer. That's all for cold. Yeah, it's supposed to be everything's supposed oh. to be cold. What this is? So smoked salmon. Yeah, so I got her box of smoked salmon. Let's see what she can do with it. Okay. And I know, I know women love chocolate. I know women love hazelnut chocolate. Hazelnut. Actually, I prefer dark chocolate, not hazelnut. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Fox. I'm kidding. Oh, oh, that was a you don't make me fuck you up on this camera. No. <laughs> no, it was Man, get it digging the goddamn oh, okay. bag. Okay. Ooh, some soaps. Are they cheesecake? Yeah. No, it's goat milk soap. It's oh. good for the skin. I needed that. I'm I know. Sorry. I know. And there's a eat more. Yeah, that's you gonna get that shit in Canada. We had to sneak that shit. And then the Kit Kat and the, Kit and the Kat. honey sugar. Yeah, yeah, them things there. Now, here go your other stuff. You've been bitching and moaning about... All this other stuff. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Put it all in the bag before you touch this one. Now, don't you break nothing in my in my, room, in my studio now. Yep, get the hell on out of here. He got me yarn, y'all. I got a whole bag of damn yarn. And so it's she can a start nice knitting. soft Chanel yarn. You ain't finna take all of them out. That bag is full. That okay. bag is full. About 18, 20 rolls of that stuff. You ain't finna well, put all that shit up here. It's Chanel yarn. And it's different colors. Real smooth. Different colors. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you want to hug? Can I hug you? Yeah, don't burn my skin. Ah! Hey, Lacey. Thank you. All right. Love you, girl. I couldn't be me without you. All right. Stay safe. Don't make me fuck nobody up. All right, everybody. Now back to the goddamn program at hand. Hey, baby girl, Lacey, you okay? You okay? They got everything, Lacey. Go harass them. You the big sister. You the big sister. Don't you scratch me again. Lacey scratched me when I got home. She like just beat my leg up because I was gone too long. All right. Everybody, back to where it is. Thank y'all for that brief interlude. I told you I love my kids. I love them all, all six of them. And let me tell y'all, I go motherfucking nuts. So, if that baby don't come home to me, I would not be this dude right here. That baby girl is everything. All right, so now we're finna rock with it. So now, if I so back to this goddamn ass wagon, uh, Maxwell Anderson, who ritualistic took that baby girl out, shot a Ross. Listen, man, it was more than one person who did it. More than one person who did it. Now, when I was contemplating doing this. I said, what cards I'm going to use to pull on this motherfucker? Because I want y'all to dig in his history. They're keeping him very quiet. They're keeping him quiet. They're keeping the daddy quiet. They're keeping him quiet. The family is in pain. And, and I pray that they get the best of energy and, the, and that God heal them and God restore their hearts. I pray that the, the Robertson family just get justice in every sense of the way. And they sue the fucking breaks off that family in a civil lawsuit. I pray that they bankrupt the motherfuckers, man. That's my prayer. But when I was sitting up here doing this, I say, Spirit, what card? You want me to talk about this and you want me to do a reading on this? I say, what should I do? And they say, use the primal trauma cards because we need to look into this bitch head. They're going to play he crazy. He ain't crazy. And then the reason what made me, when I was thinking, reason what made me say, okay, what is he trying to do? Why, why did he do this baby girl like this? Why did they? It's more than one. And Santa Morte came up and said, let me talk to you. She literally said, let me talk to you. So I'm using my Santa Morte deck at the same time. You see how it go? This is trauma. 
this is family trauma, ancestral trauma this boy going through. They trained him to be like this. Don't look like, oh, it's a fucking set up. It's just something that randomly motherfucking happened. This was a set up, man. They trained that boy for this at 33. This is what he had to do. All these rich little white kids working at bars where baby girls go visit and go drink and then they took them to the docks and three fucking things and you telling me and I don't even know what she was sexually assaulted. They can't even find the... I wish a bitch would. Listen to me. Spirit, let's just jump on into this this Maxwell weird man. I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to ask you I'm going to read this comment so it don't come from me. I already told you what I feel like when they downloaded to me. What question y'all want me to ask the cards about this clown? They already told me why. There you go. Beautiful, beautifully planted. Somebody paying attention. Use your spiritual eyes. Use your own self eyes with this. Who helped him? Somebody talking. Santa Morte, who helped him? Who helped him? The trauma say we can't do that. Trauma said they couldn't do it. Who helped in Santa Morte? Who helped him do this? Let's let's pinpoint these bitches. You want to know who helped him? It was female. A female helped him do this. The female was the Lord. The female was the comforter. Let me tell you. Santa Morte said it was a female shrouded. Uh, I'm going to see, can I pull this bitch name up out my skull piece? Y'all don't fuck with me. I'm the real deal, baby. Look at the jazz hands. See, this is surprise. Surprise. Pay attention now. Watch what they find when they go in here. Then, notice what they said. It's a game. They said it's a game. It was all an active game. So, now what do we call games? Rituals. What did the Mayan used to call the ritual? The game. So I'm going to break down what they saying to the car. So when y'all see the Caucasian girl that she was with, when they start following the shit, they need to check her phone records. It's going to be a Caucasian girl. If I'm not mistaken, the Caucasian girl going to be 5'3". The Caucasian girl going to have blonde hair. It's going to be one with blonde hair, one with brown hair, but that's too generic. I need to go a little bit different. Here we go. The tattoo. Tattoo on the left shoulder. Tattoo on the left shoulder. I don't know if this is a Disney character or a cartoon character. The cartoon, the, the white girl that helped this boy do this, that set that baby girl up, check his friends, the little white girl, gonna have the little, it's a character on the left shoulder. She teased, she baited that baby up to deal it. This is a group effort, people. What else? See that there? Now, the Morte say they actually went, the girl, she actually met the little white girl and they went to a show together, a dance together, or some kind of concert together prior. They made it comfortable. This little girl is related to this man, Anderson, is related or in the circle, in the family. They needed one and they got her. You see how Santa Morte say, surprise, yeah, ooh, we're friends. But you see how she balling up the fist right here? She said she was hiding her hands, open hand, but hiding the fist. That's the punch. Hold on. When I say it was a game, let's put the puzzle together. Let's make it fit. Let's put the puzzle together. Let's make it fit. So who helped them was a little girl, was a little girl. And all this shit go down to ritualistic energy, people. Don't let them tell you that boy was crazy. Don't let, you tell, don't let them tell you that boy was crazy. He knew exactly what he was fucking doing, and he had help. I would do what you got to do. Oh, wow. What they say? She met him through a friend. That's right. He just didn't walk up. That boy don't look good enough to just walk up to the sister that looked as good as that woman. Hey, what you doing? I don't care if she did go for white boy. That boy ain't nothing. You go for the white boy with the 
with the dark figure, the mustache, I mean, the beard, the swarthy looking brothers. You know, that look like they got something going for us. That boy, you can pick his ass up in front of 7-Eleven with a skateboard on his goddamn wrist. She, she ain't that. The girl wouldn't fuck with him. Chaka Shaw in the thing. Chaka Shaw. Chaka Shaw. Chaka Shaw. Chaka Shaw. Everybody, Chaka Shaw. Y'all know I love Chaka Shaw. This girl talked to her about this boy. Yes, beautiful planted. The girl helped her. The girl eased her mind about this boy. So, so, Bella, long time, darling. Yes, Sha yes Miss Sade was gorgeous. Yeah, that boy was rough looking. Fuck him. I can't stand him. I'm doing good, darling. What energy or energies did he sacrifice her to? Ooh, there goes somebody doing it. Santa Morte, this your energy. This your energy. Who, who did, who did she go to? Who or what? Who or what? Show me now. Show me. I'm, I'm working with you. Hell on out. Kiss my dick. I mean, not. I mean, y'all. I just be talking. That's that. I just take. Who? Who? Y'all gonna see that this shit real, people. I'm helping. First card can't die. Who did she get sacrificed to? This is the card, man. So when the sun went away, they sacrificed her to the black sun. They needed a pure light source. So they gave it to the black sun, Saturn. We'll just say Saturn. We gave it, gave it to Saturn. Not too many people know who the black sun is. So she was sacrificed to Saturn. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Okay. Now. So it was Saturn. But it was for the female, the feminine energy of Saturn. Now Saturn is a male energy, by the way. Saturn is Capricorn. Remember, Capricorn stands on top of everything. This is a money issue, money ritual. What's she holding on her head? Crescent moon upside down behind her. She's sitting on the throne, covering over water. The reflection, having a baby. This is financial. Saturn teaches you lessons. You learn from Saturn how to get to the mountaintop. Intelligence, wisdom, Saturn. This is where the spooky shit go along. Not only was it Saturn, but you see, it even told you during the eclipse. You see the block? That's the black sun energy blocking. They telling you what it is. It's a spectrum. It's a tunnel. So they were using the planet Saturn. And you know when they say it's a clip, that, that's the black sun. I'm not making this shit up, people. There you go. That's who they fucking with. The black sun had to eat that baby, them shadows. This a ritualistic, people. Let me read a little bit more. I'm, I'm on y'all. I ain't asking shit for my... I done said my piece. Saturn teaches endurance. Mm-hmm. Low and slow. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about Saturn, you got to think about all the what the judges wear. Those black robes, that's Saturn. When we graduate from college, get our degrees and from high school and college, we wear the, the, the square hat with the tassels left and right. That's Saturn. That's the homage to Saturn. You got me? The black stone that the Muslims walk around, that's Saturn energy. It's the stone, baby. The black stone, that's Saturn energy. Saturn is knowledge knowing understanding i got i got a saturn amulet when people used to say hey i'm taking a test for school i consecrate a saturn amulet for them and send it to them they pass and they test left and right because saturn is knowledge 
past and present. It's downloads. They did this to Saturn for money. I bet business opportunity to come as daddy way. What was special about her that they chose her? Santa Marta, you want to tell me what was special about her? She's saying. Why are you looking around, though? You shouldn't. You, you know. What was special about her? I see what you're saying. So that's why you looked around. What was special about her? People, here we go. Y'all ask what was special about her. You see this? This is the generation of curse. She was marked from her lineage to be done like this. It could only come from her. It could only come from her lineage. Have you heard her family talk online? Have you heard them people talk? You see how well spoken her family is, her mom is, her daddy is. It ain't no, it ain't no southern slang, no good old bougie no none of that shit. These people are well spoken, well off family. These people come from some lineage out of this world. They just didn't know the lineage they came from. What was special about and look at that heart now. Look at the heart inside this motherfucker. Look at them hearts all lined up. They needed her. She came from the lineage. They probably didn't know. Somebody in their further lineage on in the past of her family probably was one too back in the day. They set this baby up. They targeted this baby. Miss Sade Robinson. Y'all ask. Let me let me let me let me double down on it. Why was she special? Y'all see it, right? It was a limit. Why was she special? What's she doing? She's sitting on the throne. She's sitting on the throne. She hold the key to unlock. Look at them little dogs. That baby energy, that baby, if that baby would have been allowed to grow up. That baby would have had so much power, y'all. She would have had so much power to run this motherfucker. She would have had so much power. Her family would have been millionaires because of her. She, matter of fact, she was going to be taken down. She was going to be the one to take down all of these goddamn pedophiles and all these murderers. I'm telling you what they're telling me. I don't know nothing about this sister like that. But they're saying she was going to be the one to make it look easy. They were going to set a new law. She was going to set a new law in order to where she was going to make it easy. And I think I think the way what they did, they 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 double fucked themselves because now there's going to be a Sade Robertson law set in the place behind this shit right here. Either way, she was supposed to be like a lawman, a lawmaker, uh, a, ju a judge or something like that. It comes from that lineage. Keep in mind, Saturn, what I told you, judges, scholars, scholastic. This is Saturn, man. Look at her. She's sitting on the throne. With all these people, she's saying, bitch, I control this. That lady would have been something great. President of the United States. She would have been something heavy. State attorney. She would have judged. Saturn needed her energy. And they needed this, baby. They scouted that girl out. Here we go one more time. What's that? This one here pregnant. She would have did so goddamn much. Revival. They've been talking to them people for generations, man. Them ain't no dummies. Them ain't them people ain't dumb. I'm listening to the daddy and the uncle, the uncle talking. She was beautiful. They, they, look how they say. They they talk so highly of her. As a walk in through, as as walk in through one of her other family members. No, this. So let me tell you something about a sacrificial personality. So I'm finna educate you some. Now, when a human is sacrificed, this is old world shit. Not I don't know how I don't know who doing that beside these mentally ill fellas. So listen to me, people. When a human is sacrificed in such a way as a burnt offering, body parts scattered to the wind, this is why they do shit like this. 
that person don't get to reincarnate. That person is trapped in a perpetual energy vortex. That person is there. Their energy is to make shit work. They are like, think about you dispatch. Their energy is on a treadmill running, powering a battery behind them. And that's what they do. That's their purpose. So she don't get to come back through nobody else. Can she talk? Can she, when she gets strong enough, can she project? Maybe. But she don't get to come back. So this is why they have to target. What will happen to the family? Uh, to the what will happen to the female that was involved? Let me see. What will happen to the female? Uh, will they catch this female? I know they're gonna point her out. She's gonna it's gonna come to play female with the character on the left arm. If my psychic ability is doing me good, left arm, left shoulder, left arm, something with a character, a face, uh, eyes, nose, probably some Tamagotchi shit, or uh, probably some Freya. Uh, some Celtic shit on the arm of Mayan sun god, whatever. I know these people dealing with either the Celtic god or the Mayan god. She's saying this is done for that reason. What would happen? Would that little girl get caught? She will not. Nothing will happen to her. She's going to sleep like a baby. That's her job. Catch and release. You gonna see her? She gonna be there, and she they gonna say she was probably in 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 Kansas at college that day. She had something to do with it, but they won't they won't pinpoint her as the 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 white rabbit they call it. Uh, do the right thing. I'll be, I'll be posting them very shortly. This is the fourth month. Yeah, by the fifth month, I'll start consecrating them. And once they get, once I do pre-orders, that's it. Uh, last time I did fifth in, 10 people bought them. So I'm not purchasing all them damn stuff I do pre-orders for. I do my consecration. I'll let you know I post about it. No, the David said it's sad. She will pay in other ways. Of course she's going to pay in other ways. Hell, she gonna, she going to get in a car accident. It is what it is. I'm telling you. I can see how she go. She get in a car accident. If she ain't already put in a car accident to shut her ass up. Everybody, that's it. That dude ain't sick. He knew what he was doing. That was for, to keep the family rich. That was a family ritual done for that baby. Her family blood got so much good grace in it. I wouldn't be surprised if they were, if the if her family is is the beautiful Miss Shade Robinson family look back long enough, they'll see that they family probably own half of the fucking land that they sitting on in the state they come from. These were predominant people. They were spiritualists. They owned that town, I'm thinking, because why them? You got me? They just gotta look back. This ain't the first time somebody from their family been plucked. They target that baby. The Ramona Davis, the family got riches. The daddy can retain his money in his million and billion dollar companies. You know, whoever, I mean, if everybody's child offspring involved is millionaires, the fuck you think gonna happen? How many times we done set up there and wanted to kill a chicken to get money? That's a good question. Is he the first? Is this his first bag? Is this his first kill spirit? Santa Morte. Is this his first one? Santa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Santa Morte, you playing. You playing. You a serial killer? Y'all think I'm playing. Is this his first one? No. No. Is this his first one? No. He done done it in other states, other avenues, other towns. 
Hell, he probably done done it. Find out where he vacation. He they, they done did it down there in the in the southern and the south. They done did it in Mexico. They done did it places, man. Africa, if they he traveled to Africa, they done did it. This ain't his first one. This is just them. Spirit, is it his first one? No, his head in the game. He know what he got to do. Let me let me help you out. I want to ask this. Spirit, since this ain't his first one, and they just figured out a serial killer that they come into the past. Spirit, why? This is my trauma debt. Why? Talk. Again, ritualistic. I told y'all. Hold the presses. Why? What is that man doing? Let me get it off the damn beam. I'm sorry, y'all. What is he doing? He hunting. He hunting. This is why. It's a job. He hunting. God damn it. He hunting. Why, spirit? Why is he doing this? Look at the little man. Ritualistic. That's Stonehenge. What I tell you? Some kind of Mayan or Celtic ritual. Look what he got in his hand. A hammer. What he looking at? The sun. What is he fucking look? He doing this ritually? Spirit, why? That's the roots buried deep. That's the roots buried deep. Look at them bitch smiling. That's a demonic energy. All for the sun. I'm telling you. These y'all questions, not mine. I'm just reading what the card said. Make y'all think how many of these big, big rich family do this. There you go. Everybody want to sit up there and give their son of their daughters to these rich people. Oh, they got money. You done came up. Moved up like the Jefferson. These people be plotting, man. They put it in the movie. Jordan Peele put it in the movie. Motherfuckers put it in the movies, man. They telling us what's going on. I don't think it's a rank, Antoinette. I just think it's what he do. He the one that do it. I think he the one that got to do it. They train people to do shit like this. That man ain't crazy. That's ritualistic shit. Have they all been women of color? Great question. Have they all been women of color, spirit? Have they all been women? Has it been any men? What say you? They have. But here you go. He lured them in with spiritual talk. Look at her waving. Hey, the girl. Oh, she wanted to do some kind of Celtic shit, some kind of magic shit. Look at the dead trees around. Look at the shrine. All been women. Look at the damn skeleton. She's sitting out there. Hey, girl, come on. It's always been women. Always. Yes, nine, the family has something to do with it. That man, why would you come out a millionaire? Oh, I'm sorry this happened. I'm sorry my son did this. Most people that sit up there and I don't know what's going on. My son is innocent till proven guilty. They already called it because they know they're going to get him off. Put him in a mental science asylum. Uh, is the mother to the Santa Marte trauma primal? Why is the mother involved? Is the mother involved? Or is it just that he needs to do this? Is it just a man thing? Is the mama involved? What's say? What's say? Trauma. Why the mama got to get? Oh. Y'all were right. Y'all was right more than me. Y'all said it now. It's a family affair. They raised them like this. It's a family affair. What do the mama got to do with it? 
This is the mother's idea. The mother is the main witch of all this shit right here. The mother taught them this shit. What the card saying, man? The mother taught them. Allegedly. Let's say that. This is a script I'm talking about in a book. A movie I'm writing. TikTok, don't ban me. This is my opinion for fun. Educational purposes. People. This is a sad energy, y'all. This is a sad day. Sad energy. They took that lovely baby off this planet because she had the light and the glow. Now, let me ask you guys a question. And I want y'all to be serious with yourself. Black, white, Chinese, Haitian, Jamaican, indifferent, whatever you want to consider yourself, male, female. Let me ask you something. How many of you guys in your bones, in your soul, feel you have a better calling than where you at right now? You feel like you're something special. And when you get around some somebody of a different race, and I'm and this is, you know, black folks right now. You get around somebody of a different race, you get scared. You just feel it in your bone like, damn, I'm around three white dudes. Ugh. Why am I feeling so afraid? They say when black men walk walk around black women, I mean white women, they clutch their purses like we gonna take it. We don't want your purse. Probably one or two crackheads on the street. The average man get in the elevator going into a 17-story high-rise building. The last thing he wants is your purse. He getting to his job. But they still clutch their purse. But if we was to get in the elevator or get close and we, I, I, I got to get out of here. Oh, I wouldn't dare hurt you. But how many of y'all feel intimidated in some form of fashion? Brothers, it's okay. I'm a big, strong Joe Blow Hill. If I'm around four or five white dudes, I feel intimidated. I'm, I'm on guard. I'm analyzing how I'm going to take these motherfuckers out, man, if they try some shit. It's smart. But I'm getting that. How many of you guys, sisters, brothers, don't matter, been around somebody of a different race and you get scared? Let me tell you why that is. Because you don't know if they're sensing your energy, your essence. You don't know what they're there for. How you know them people ain't like people sniffing you out? How you know they not sitting up there analyzing you? Stalking you? It's about paying attention, being careful. And it meant to the point as a man that, hell, I ain't some tough nigga. If I, if I get on, if I see, if I'm about to get on the elevator and I see five white men on that bitch, you think I'm jumping in there with them? No, I'll take the next one. Why put yourself in a situation, ladies? Why put yourself in a situation, man? Why do it? Why? <laughs> White King. You can suck the longest shaft for this big black dick. Call me an ape again, you fuck nigga. Can't stand racist pigs. I hate racist people, man. That's what I do. I don't know no crime stats. Uh, I don't know any crime stats. I'm not a crime statologist, people. Can't tell you crime stats. All that shit is jammed up and jumbled up. They'll never put the crime where it belongs. So I, I don't look for crime stats. I look for I could look for a motherfucker that got mental illness versus a motherfucker that just having a hard day and they deserve to be executed, lynched, put in jail versus somebody that just need help. They just need, they turn to drugs because they need help. They murdered their whole family because they need help. Versus, oh, he murdered, oh, he should have known better. He should have known goddamn better. His grandma should have raised him better than that. His daddy was on drugs, a junkie, left him in the ditch somewhere. They come up with every story. Why? But the same old thing, mental illness, right? That, that The black man here voices the most spiritual that is. Their voices 
He don't need he don't need mental counseling if the devil tells him to do it. Give him the chair. This young rich white boy hear voices, which he gonna say he heard voices. He gonna say he either the Celtic God of blood sacrifice or the Maya God of blood sacrifice for the eclipse. He heard voices. Let's put him in a mental health facility. Club Med. Yeah, women and men need to be goddamn careful. What it is, KJ? Georgia, how you doing, darling? Man, y'all, we need to start normalizing walking in walking in groups. Ladies, listen to me good. Told y'all ass before. Let somebody know who you're fucking with, when you're fucking with, and why you're fucking with them. Don't try to be all secretive thinking they're going to get in your business. You got to have a male energy. Ladies, y'all need to normalize if y'all going to date anybody. Black, white, indifferent, don't matter. Normalize getting you a male friend to walk up there, and that male friend should not be teeth and gums. That motherfucker need to be looking at them bitches like, she need to be home. I need to find her. Men, normalize telling these sisters, cousins, aunties, or even if a woman come to you and confide in you and say, hey, man, I'm finna shoot my ass all the way overseas. I know you're cool. Know you like that. But I want to FaceTime you with the dude that I'm dealing with, you know, mate like it. Because some women ain't got brothers no more and daddies no more. They dead or incarcerated, whatever. Man, we can normalize doing some shit like that. We can normalize being there for these sisters in this case. And if you see a sister dating outside her race and she find you as a friend and trust, don't, oh, you fucking with a white man. You, don't throw her off a game now. Nah. Don't throw her off a game. That's what you want. But at the same time, it's your responsibility in some form or fashion to put the eye on that motherfucker, to get that person information. Ask, man, what's your information? What's your family name? What house you going to be living at? Where you taking them? What time you going to be back? Ladies, find some friend. Find some male. And I hate to say it like this. Let's not find some effeminate man to do it. Find a manly man. Find a manly man that a bitch see like, man, this dude will fuck me up. I know what to do. This dude got my tag. Take a picture of the tag. Dude, brothers, buy the air tag offline. It's 20 some dollars. Buy the air tag offline. You show me your car you drive. Let me see your tag. Hook the air tag to the motherfucking car. Track his ass. If the say if the sister trusts you, track him. Track him, brothers. Sisters, do the same. Track the brothers. Pay attention. We all we got. We all we got. I done did it for several women. I don't even know their goddamn name. They come up, hey man, you just pretend you're my uncle. Okay, yeah, no problem, sister. Hey, what you going to do with my niece? How when she going to get back? I'm going to be waiting right here by the time you get her back. Now, call my phone. Here go my number. Call my phone as you break down or some shit. I need to know who you are. They be looking at me like I'm crazy. Sister be like, thank you, uh. I don't know that woman, man. I don't motherfucking know that woman. That never call me again. But if the sister going to come up to me and ask that question, God damn it, I'm going to do it. That's the least I can do. I know how to block a goddamn phone number if the motherfucker call me too much and she ghosting. Man, she don't want to fuck with you. Get out. Don't call me no more. Block. Simple. But we got to take responsibility, people. Sisters, y'all got to start trusting. At least trust the man for that. I know the shit been tainted up, fucked up. At least trust some man for that. To get them your well by somebody that could get hope to your family. Somebody that could check on your ass within 24 hours. Somebody that could give information to the police. You going on a date with somebody? I drive myself. My daddy going to drop me off. My uncle going to drop me off. Get to the spot before. Get to the spot 30 minutes before. Scope the bitch out. Look for the exit. See who just standing around looking like a fool. See who's sitting in the restaurant. See who at the movie. See if the person going to be waiting out there like a gentleman for you. Baby girl got all this knowledge. Ain't shit she can do to make me get mad at her where she can't call me. Baby, I don't give a fuck. You done did some dumb shit and embarrass you. Call me. 
We can argue about it later. Get home safe. My grown ass boy, 27 years old. He go out of town with his friend. Dad, this is the friends I'm going with. These are the numbers. These are their numbers. Here's the pictures of their faces. I met them here. I met them there. This is where they work. I get all that shit from my 27-year-old son. All of them, people. I'm a dad. I need to know. Because if something happened, bitch, I'm permanently investigating hell with the police. I'm looking into that. I ain't got nothing else to lose. Fuck else I'm going to do. Pay attention, people. Now I'm telling you some good shit. Telling you some good shit now. Y'all want to sit up here and oh, I can't trust the man. I can't trust the woman. I don't want nobody in my business. I need to move in silence. Find you some motherfucking body you can tell your business to to keep you safe. At least three of them. Tell, send the email to my email. Baron, bitch, you don't know me. But I'm going on a date with Roscoe. This is his picture. This is that. It'll be sent in the email. This is his tag number. This is his description. Go in the bathroom, act like you're pissing or something. Text that shit to the email. I'm going to be over here. This is the city and state I'm in. I'll check back with another email. Make sure y'all I'm okay. I, so when I go check it, hey, I see your name. Oh, shit. This sister was on the news. This the, this what she sent me, police. Y'all better start paying attention and doing something. They unaliving our asses. People flying to different states to see people. Don't nobody know who you're going to see because you want to get a sneaky fucking link in. Tell some goddamn body. Fellas, you too. All because you want to go get your little dick wet. You're going to run dick up in some motherfucking body on the low. Tell your homeboy. Tell your sister. Tell your kinfolk. How your sister talk to him on the phone? Somebody you can trust, a co-worker. These women killing dudes too? Y'all playing. When I go out of town, I tell my whole motherfucking fraternity. Bay, I'm here. This is Andre. Bitch, if I don't come back, y'all law enforcement, CIA, up, y'all, all that shit. Y'all come looking. This the, this the new picture she sent me. This is how it all look. That's that scar right there. Don't let her. Mm -mm. I'm getting all the information before I come see you ass. It is what it is, and everybody gonna know. Yes, I look. <laughs> Y'all to say, what's the email? Baby, it's in the description box below. It's in the description box below. I ain't playing. I mean that shit. I'm dead serious. That's it. Listen, hell, I create an email. Flood that bitch if you're going on dates. Flood the bitch. I can always delete it if it's bullshit. You can tell bullshit. Always just a simple delete, 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 delete. Put in the header. Going on a date with a motherfucker. I need you. I need you to know. That's it. In the header, I got a shitload of them. 24 hours later after your date or when you come back from out of state. Made it home, bitch. I'm okay, Barry. You good with me? Give somebody some information on you, people. That's all I'm saying. Hey, Lily Rose Mystic, what's up? I know, Bria J, you be keeping me up on it, Bria J. Hey, Bria J, take that serious. Bria J be like, Baron, bitch, I'm over here at the mall meeting this motherfucker. Okay, Bria J, I got you, baby, I got you. She, she, she started doing it on her own. She say, ha, certain letter companies <laughs> already looking. <laughs> you know what it is. Hey, everybody, I'm just saying, brothers, we, this is the least we can do. Sister, this is the least we can do. Sisters, find you some strong masculine man that can intimidate the fuck out of bitch and that you know got your back or find you somebody who, who can look into your shit and give all your information to 
You're not nobody that's going to sass the fuck out. You want somebody that's really going to follow through. If you say you're going to call him right here at this time, email me at this time, I'm going to expect that shit. And if we have a verbal conversation, I'm going to be expecting that conversation. Hey, something ain't right. What's your next akin number? Let me call. Let me call Travis. Hey, Travis, get your ass down now. Motherfucker ain't check in. This is the day she said you're going to check in. I'm all the way somewhere else, damn it. So I ain't, I ain't the culprit here, but you need to check on this person right here. That's what we got to normalize doing, people. Got to normalize doing it. My, if my 27-year-old son could do some shit like that, y'all can do it too. And we, God knows that boy 27. And he look good, look just like me. You know he fucking off. He makes sure he let me know where he at. I get a daily picture of my boy. What he wearing? That's what the kids do. My daughter, stand in front of the rain camera. When she leave, show me what she wearing. What time she leaving the house? Make a boo thing. Stand, little boyfriend come up to eat, get in the car. He stand in front of the rain door camera. I got a tag number everything on both cars. Come on, people. Dads, be smarter than this. Mama, be smarter than this. Women killing boys, too. Mm -hmm. In the store or milk. Yep, do you pay to see it? Ishmael laughing. Ishmael said, hell no. Listen, I'm with it, man. I'm with it. Hey, but Ish Ishmael, we got we to gotta start doing shit like this, man. It ain't all about being solo, dolo, sneaky, linking, all that shit, though, man. We got to start doing something like this. Fuck who get mad. Man, we got to start protecting each other. If the sisters and the brothers don't trust each other enough to, to physically let us protect them or physically put them in our business or however, man, then God damn it, um, uh, text, email, that type of shit, that's simple. That's simple. I'm a YouTuber. You text me, you're going on a date, and you say I'm going to check back, and I get that motherfucking alert. I'm going to look. I told you, got to be in the head or not. Got to be in the head of you. Oh, I, my dog died. What the fuck do I do spiritually? I'm not going to reply to no shit like that. Book a reading. But if you really going on some date and you need that information up there, that's something I could check in on. That's something I could check back with your ass. Send that email. Or please reply to this email. Make sure you got it. Let me know you're living. And don't tell the person you're going with, I mean out of town, that you gave it to your favorite YouTuber. That you gave it to your favorite TikToker, soon to be. Dang. Dang. Let me go out of state with him, told me not to tell anyone. Man, y'all fool fall for that shit. To want to stand it, what it is. I'm all right. I'm all right. Ishmael, let's protect these sisters, man. We got to protect them. Sisters, protect your sons. Protect your people, man. Train your kids to send emails and pictures of the people who they're going with. It's, you're walking up to them, have that snapshot and text that bitch. Put them on live. Put them on Instagram live. Snapchat. Oh, however, screenshot. Send it somewhere to somebody. Why is this random picture of this motherfucker looking like a menacing Hulk? Why is he in her phone? Police, facial recognize his ass and get him. Question his ass. This baby ain't been home in two weeks. Question him. Send it to somebody. A random text. Oops. Ain't nobody going to delete no text if they send a picture. Be like, this who I'm with. Check on me here now. Even if they don't like you, they, gonna, they ain't going to fuck that hoe. Fuck that nigga. They're going to keep the bitch in there because that's human decency. I just kill people. I told you. I kill. I kill. I don't know. I can't save everybody in the world, but God damn it, if you're willing to let me do a little bit, my little part, I can do what I can for you. That's all I got to say. Hell yeah, the police crooked as fuck when it come down to it. That's why you got to get your family involved. Your family going to get you to the right people. But again, all these people doing these sneaky links, that's the that's the thing, sneaky links. 
Oh, I don't want nobody to know I hooked up with him, though. Hooked up with her. You better trust some motherfucking body. If you can't trust nobody, you put that motherfucking email message on the timer. Post that bitch somewhere. If you don't be there to turn that post off at this time, it goes viral and shit. This is who I'm with. Turn it off. Fuck. If you, if, if you ain't caught up in the moment, you can stop the bitch from posting. Come on, there's ways to do it. If you sneaky linking fucking off and you set that bitch to post on your YouTube channel, on your Instagram at a certain time until you go in that bitch and unpost that bitch, then you know you're safe. But if you don't, if your ass don't make it back, it's supposed this who she was with. She posted this. It didn't make no sense. But this is the one that was on the cyberspace internet. So can't nobody unsee that and delete it from your phone. But you. Man, y'all better start thinking. I mean, my daughter, we run through scenarios. I pray nothing happened to her. Come on, man. I'm trying to help you think, people. Because they targeted that baby. That shit hurt me to my heart, boy. And she probably was just doing the right thing. Thought she had a fucking friend. And that little white girl with that tattoo or that, that face on her left arm baited her ass up in the easing her up, letting her guard down with this sick sycophant. And he hurt her. Ritualistically. You know what? Thank you, Jasmine. Virgo Mama. Yanza. Oh, who? What happened to you? I feel the warmness all over my body, Yanza. And you went the Brazil way too with it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. The man with 33. He got his head. Everybody, I'm just telling you, go back and watch this and watch what I say. I done mentioned some stuff in here. He's going to say he was crazy, heard voices. Some God told him, the God of the Eclipse or whatever, God of the Celtic, the sun God, sacrifice was needed. Torso, this is what he's going to do. He's a sycophant. And he had help, period. Allegedly. So they don't. Information on purposes, people, all that shit. Uh, about the truth book I did about certain females in the hood. Yeah, females hunch on people in the hood and take their energy and soul. So, man, y'all, it's a lot of shit going on. My son has white friends, and I told him, don't go camping with them smart some people like to have a good time but there are some things i don't allow to happen with my children they don't stay over nobody's house i'm sorry uh sleepovers and if they go visit somebody's house i drive up there and i'm walking through your shit. i hope it's clean i'm coming hey how you doing I just want to let you know, I'm him, and yeah, 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 his daddy in his life every day, 100% crazy about him. I'm going to knock on your door if something happened to him, keep my kids safe, and that was back then, but then I started like, fuck that. You got the uncle coming over, you got the people visiting who are out of prison and shit, then you got sick people that's walking through on Valentine's Day holidays and shit. I say, no, nah, no, nah, baby, you can't go over there. Then I, then I used to let the kids come stay at my house with my kid, and I tell the parents, hey, here go this camera in my house, and I used to give them access to the camera. This is before rain came, Dr. Kids were young. I used to give them access to the cameras from their Wi-Fi in my house because I kept them like in the hallway and all that stuff, and they could access the cameras when their kid got over there. But then I'm like, you know, I want to have my little friend chick over here, here and there. So I took away from that because, you know, once they go home, you forget to get access. And, 
Last thing you need to see me run around this bitch swinging. So I took it away. Then I just told my kids, ain't no sleepovers. You, they not sleeping over here. You're not sleeping over there. Now I, I would go with the parents and be sitting at the damn park with them or at the movie theater. I'm sitting in the lobby of the West Oaks Mall at times or whatever mall they went to. That type of shit. I'm waiting. You're going to see me out that bitch. I ain't going to interfere. Y'all kids, I know y'all going to hug and touch and fight and I ain't getting in all that. Just get your ass back in the car. Y'all date over. Y'all little play date over. Get your ass in the car. Let's go on home now. Take time out your day, man. Be with your kids. Show them you love them. <laughs> the only other man house you'll sleep in is your husband. I used to tell my kid, <laughs> don't let nobody come in his house. I say, don't open my door for nobody but God, and he got a key. So he ain't going to need you to unlock it. And that was the rule in the house. I don't get my mama knock on the door, grandma knock on the door, your mama knock on the door. No, no. Open my door, I'm breaking your ass. Breaking every part of your narrow ass. I used to tell my kids that. I used to purposely send my sister to my house to test my children. Come on, open the door. I ain't going to tell you, daddy. I need to pee. Them kids crying. I can't, daddy going to spank my ass. Daddy. They calling me on the phone. I purposely didn't ask them to listen to the voicemail. Don't open my door for nobody but God. God damn it. And he got a key. That's it. Y'all got to raise them right. Send me pictures of all your friends. I need to know who you're going with. Act like you're taking a group selfie, a group chat. Send me the goddamn picture. I need to be able to question every last one of their parents. Where this little girl at? Like, what happened? Where this little boy at? What happened? Y'all better play nice. Y'all, y'all babies, y'all strongest resource. Fellas, our ladies is our strongest resource. I don't know what the fuck I do with one of no women on the planet. Ladies, these men, y'all strongest resource. Don't don't get fooled. I don't care if you're LGBTQ plus. Get your masculine energy to follow through on your shit. Let somebody know that somebody care about you and willing to investigate and look into your ass. This black, white, don't matter the color. Do this shit. Cre Y'all create an email chain. Create an email chain. Send it to your job computer. You come up missing, they test all that shit. Again. You want to be real smart and you want to keep everybody out your business, you take a chance and make a diet, make a post of a picture of the person you're with, where you're going, all your information up there. Put your social security and your name up there right in the post. And you know you got to go undo that post before that motherfucker go live and your information go all over the place. You don't want a bitch with your, with your details, right? So you're going to make sure your mind stay clear to undo that post. If not, it go live. Now, if you done got caught up fucking sucking and doing whatever you're doing and got caught up in the moment and you slip, you fucked up. You should you should have been on your A-game. But if you're going to undo that bitch and let's say somebody do unalive you, hurt you, or kidnap you, now the whole internet, the whole world know, all your friends know this is where you at. They're going to they're gonna look into it. They check your social media footprint, people. I'm just telling you some safety shit that I tell my baby girl. Stay safe, people out here. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, how, tell me how scary that is if y'all make a post. Y'all make a post and y'all schedule that bitch to go to go in two, three days. Y'all schedule it to go live and that post to go live and uh like on like on uh YouTube and shit to go in two, three days. And you set alarm in your phone to go off and don't let that post go off in, in, in 30 minutes. You can do it. And if that post and let's say you tied up injured kidnapped in a ravine somewhere and that post go out people gonna be like okay now she put in the post this is where she going the whole internet know now they can hop on that shit real quick thank people y'all better think social media is a tool how y'all like this people i just had to do this and i know i got into my dad mode at the end my heart got lifted the pain got lifted once i did this reading i was so heavy in the heart people I'm so heavy and hot. But yeah. 
how do y'all like this right here, people? Y'all want me to do more of this type of stuff? These celebrity uh, unalivings and stuff so we can figure out what's going on with these people. If y'all want me to start doing more like this, cool. Y'all think it's going to help grow the channel and help somebody at the same time? Y'all just let me know. Hit, oh, yeah, I, I need to be saying hit that like button, share, subscribe, and share. Yeah, we. this is the conversation we all need to have, people. I don't give a damn what color creed you are. This is the conversation we need to have. There's nothing more precious than a human life, people. I don't give a damn the color. You, somebody loves you. Even if I can't stand your fucking gut, somebody loved the fuck out of your dirty drawers. And I think I should keep you alive the best way I can so them per that person can smell your dirty drawers. Somebody can see your ugly mug. Somebody like you. Most precious thing you got is your life. Don't throw the shit away trying to get a sneaky link of side piece of dick or a side piece of pussy. Uh, taking penitentiary chances, drug gang, mule running. Pay attention, people. Kathleen, how you doing? Miss P, what it is? I'm going to keep doing this. So if y'all see some other stuff y'all want me to do a reading on, somebody that was hurt in the media on the news, I don't mind putting Santa Morte and the trauma cards to use. That could just be in it. Always going to be alive. I ain't never going to pre-record them things right here because I want to interact with y'all because the more energy y'all bring, the better. So this is how it's going. A lot of things coming with the platform. I will be doing the weekly tarot readings for all Zodiac signs. That seem to be the thing right now. I'll jump on that right there. So trust me, y'all finna see a lot of changes going on with the channel. A lot of different products are going to be sold. I'm taking a lot of products off of my website. I'm revamping that motherfucker. So I had to take that break to get my head in the game, y'all. Because I wanted to stop doing this shit 100%. But I'm back. All right, everybody, I'm going to let you guys go. You, you guys enjoy your night. I got to finish working on these little things for the channel. Uh, I appreciate y'all for stepping with me. And everybody, let's pray for this family that they do okay, that they get their hearts back in the game. And and I'm telling you, these are beautiful people. Miss Sade Robinson family, such beautiful people, man. Let's pray that God get them the strength to get through this. I, I mean it, man. They such beautiful, beautiful souls, intelligent people, man. I mean not one savage word and the mama cursed and that's what i love she said some words that wasn't fit for television baby that's the fucking stuff she said some words that wasn't fit for television you applaud her because she got that red in her eyes and she ain't gonna let that baby go down as a marching parade some fucking well god damn it that's who you march with all right everybody Leave your comments. I don't give a fuck if they negative or not. Com leave comments below. All right, everybody. On the Baron telling you guys to trust the you and the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.